I'm making some cheddar sausage. Benjamin, are you gonna eat some of my cheddar sausage? How about you, Millie? Mm. You just had breakfast, now you're having a snack and you're about to have second breakfast. A little bit of poached eggs with the cheddar on top. I broke one, no! We need a new pan, this thing's getting old. It's not very snazzy, is it? Could use like some fresh fruit on the side. That might be pretty good. But look at all that protein. Gotta have that protein. I've been working like a dog. I'm sore like every day. Sore every day from all the woodworking and moving and such. It feels like it's been three months of just being active, really. Stella, is she trying to eat your Cheerios? Doesn't look right at all. They're both wrong. We got Benjamin a shopping cart and Millie a stroller. So that breakfast was delicious. Wow. And we're not done yet. Of course, I'm gonna make some coffee this morning at some point, but we've got this new kitchen appliance. It's called the Ninja Creamy. It specializes in making gelato, ice cream, sorbet, and let me tell you, it's a real treat. We've got some pre-mixes in our overloaded freezer here. Goodness. Mm, Oreo. Oreo. Coffee. Ooh. Dole Whip. Pineapple. Just a couple ingredients. That one has like a can of pineapple and coconut milk. This one has Oreos and I don't know, Jose made it. This one literally has decaf coffee and milk. A little bit of chocolate and you freeze these things overnight. You can't have the coffee one. I don't think you like it, dude. But yeah, you put it in this machine and this is gonna be, I think, a light ice cream because there's not a whole lot of cream in it. It's gonna get loud. And while that makes you some delicious ice cream, you empty the dishwasher. Good job, Benjamin. And you can make them healthy. Like a lot of people have been making like their protein shakes and whatever. I mean, for the most part, like that, uh, Pineapple one is literally just canned pineapple and coconut milk, so it's really not even that bad for you. Well, it's actually good for you, I think. <laughs> Jose's prepping another one here. Strawberry banana with strawberry milk to go. When was the last time you had a strawberry milk? Is this not supposed to be pink? What is this white, uncolored? Huh. That'll be a good one, though. Lots of fresh stuff in there. You're not adding this, are you? Mm. Ketchup? Oh, gross. So the first thing that I need to take care of today is reviewing the Tuxedo Cat. This thing is actually bigger than I thought. It's life-sized. It's funny, when I came down here, Baradura was on the table, so I moved it right down here beside the Tower of Orthanc. <laughs> there they are, side by side. That was a cool build, wow. It's like a Yoda, Grogu, those type of character builds. The Porg is pretty sweet. The framework inside and the way that everything is like modular, like I can take this cat apart very easily. Pop the head off, disconnect the body, pop the different sections of the leg off, rip the tail off. You can just like dissect it. And it comes with two different colors of eyes. Ooh, what a great way to start the day. Well, that and of course ice cream, that was awesome too. We're going uh, swimming with the kids. It's their, what, fifth swimming lesson? Got them in swimming lessons, trying to get them used to the water because why not, right? You gotta start them young. So we're gonna go take care of that once they wake up from nap. It's bloody miserable out though. I do not feel like going swimming. Like, come on, this is not swimming weather. Oh, well, of course we're swimming inside, but. I just feel like brewing up a coffee and snuggling under a nice warm blanket and watching TV or something. Got back from swimming and was editing the cat video. Now I'm eating some grapes. We gotta make a uh, food vlog channel. Cause look what Mrs. Brixie can cook up here. Orange chicken. Chicken? Yep. Orange chicken. That looks good. Look at that right there. That's like, that's like worthy for the gram. The kids better like it. Ooh. Millie's diving right in, so is Ben. 
Got enough bananas there for a whole family of monkeys. Look at my cat. Sunbathing. Hey? Is it sunbathing season? Got swimming pool hair right now. Whew! I've gotta say though, I am digging my little review station here. Yeah, the carpet store called and I gotta go pick up my carpet for this area. I'm excited about that. It's a little bit cold down here. That's why I'm always rocking the slippers and the pajamas. <laughs> it's been a pajama day, everybody. I went out in public like that. I'm not proud of myself. I, I don't think I've ever done that. Well, never say never, but don't do it very often. Decided to put these four sets on my desk. So there's Baradur by the Tower of War Thank. Tower of War Thank's actually pretty tall. Like, it, it's up there. I, did I already say that in this vlog? Probably, but I'm still pretty impressed by it. So is Gandalf. He's like, whoa, look at me. I'm on a Great Eagle. <laughs> Maybe this set should have came with an updated Great Eagle. Keep an eye on that, Sauron. And then now uh, we've got the uh, Artemis Space Launch System and the kitty. Not bad at all. I also filmed another video when I was talking about all the new releases coming out uh, this summer, like June, July, August. There's a lot, man. It's crazy. A lot of June releases, a lot of August releases. It's wild. Some of them are right here. Like we've got Baradur coming out right away. Thank you, Lego, hooking it up. Like, wow. I'm back in the ambassadorship program. How cool is that? Thank you. I'm digging it. It's a lot of work, though, building this stuff, reviewing it. You know, it takes days. Like, for example, reviewing the cat took, you know, three quarters of my working day. I could have been building tables. Could have been going to Home Depot and, and buying wood and building tables. But instead, I was spending the day at home building the cat. But that's sort of why I wanted to set up the station at home is so that I can work from home and get those distractions. You know, hang out with my kids. Hang out. Make breakfast for my family. Uh, you know, eat some ice cream with the family, go swimming with the family. So I can still come here, bang out a review and hang out with my kids in between that. So, you know, build five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 bags, head upstairs, hang out with my kids for an hour, come back down here, build 10 more bags, hang out with my kids again, take them swimming, come back here, finish the review, get that done. They go to bed, work on another video. And then tonight I'm going to be watching hockey. I've got an NHL playoff game. Edmonton versus the Vancouver Canucks tied 2-2 in the series right now. I don't know what it's going to be when this video comes out. Tied 2-2 in the series right now. I'm not even watching it live. I'm recording it because bloody work. Oh, I'm looking at the little uh, screen here. That's going to be the intro for the video that I filmed earlier. Super cool. I got quite the outfit on tonight. Wow, looking pretty good, hey? <laughs> so the uh, Oilers lost, unfortunately. So the series is 3-2 Vancouver. Got to win four games. So there's going to be another game on Saturday. And if the Oilers win, then there'll be another game on Monday. Should be interesting because I'm actually going to Kamloops uh, to visit my brother with my cousin. And uh, my brother's buddies are Vancouver fans. So it should be interesting watching it with them. <laughs> Game ends pretty late though, it's 11 o'clock and I've still got a bunch of editing to do, so I'm gonna take care of that. I make these like preview videos every now and again and this one here has 52 minutes of footage and I'm already that deep into it. Look at all the cuts, it's a lot of editing. I'm bloody tired. Wow, <laughs> I need to go to sleep. Taking the baby mobile to work today. I'm gonna have the eye of Sauron, keeping an eye on the people behind me. <laughs> just glaring at them through the back window. So I just finished up with my last day at the studio here before I head out on a little vacay. Oh yeah. Cleaned up back here, vacuumed up and like compiled all this garbage. Got most of the wood ready for table construction for when I get back. The two by six legs, the four by four posts, the shims, the two by four wood for building the frames. Just gotta head to the hardware store when I get back and get the two by four by tens. That's good. Started sliding some of this Lego underneath there. So we actually have a walkway to get through. Just did all the dishes and stuff. So it's all cleaned up. I'm just like going through my 
I'm racking my brain here. It's like, do I need to bring anything home? Oh, yeah, she was wanted the drill. I need to bring the drill charger home. She's gonna build IKEA furniture. Could you imagine if that died on her? <laughs> oh no. Simon was here earlier. This bin was full. And he sorted that much Lego. It's good to get it all sorted. A few more bins to go. <laughs> Just a few though. Got that space display though. That's looking pretty fresh. Love that. Yeah, just emptied the fridge and the milk that expired today. It's like I've got to go through the checklist here, man. Is there anything that's going to rot while I'm away? <laughs> not a huge concern. It's not like I'm gone for a long time. I'm excited about getting back, though, because I want to get these bloody tables built. Like, that's, that's some exciting stuff happening in my life right now. Got to get them leveled off. Ooh, I need to place that Amazon order for the uh, little tiny thin hockey pucks. So I can get them all leveled off. See, good thing I did the final check though. What if she's like building that and the battery died? That would not be good at all. There we go. Also fixed up the UCS displays today. Oh yeah, that was good. And made this display. And then we've got a new uh, companion. He's looking after, looking after the, uh, Lego Studio while we're away. The kitty cat. I think that's it though. I think I'm good to go. Just gonna double check the doors are locked. And then get out of here. Go have some fun with the boys. It's gonna be a crazy weekend. I might get some footage over there because having a boys weekend away. Which I'm very lucky that I'm allowed to do. It wasn't my idea, but I got invited. And I'm very lucky that Jose you know, she's a, she's a beauty. She's just awesome. She's letting me get away. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're going boating, uh, golfing. <sighs> Amazing. However, this golf course that we're going to, apparently it's the 60th best golf course in the world. 60th doesn't sound good, but imagine how many golf courses there are in the world. The problem is, is I haven't golfed since last season. So this will be my first round out this season. A little bit scared of that. I haven't been to the golf or the driving range or anything. So I'm like, Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I went and uh, picked up my carpet from the carpet store so I can get that installed when I get home too. What do you think of the new carpet? It's pretty nice. Wow. Of course, that's just the underlying. Well, there we go. Now my little film area here at home is completely done. My feet are very thankful to have this carpet back. The floor down here is very cold and it sort of matches up perfectly with our uh, tiled off area for the kids. However, they now have the entire upstairs and they love it up there. So our plan to have the kids down here didn't really come to light because they honestly didn't really like it down here so we just made them like the craziest little play area upstairs in the bonus room where our tv room used to be so it all worked out but i'm just happy that i have the option of filming reviews and reveals and time lapses at home and the carpet just sort of completes that package getting ready to say goodbye to the kids right benjamin is that the garbage truck guy gonna miss you oh you give me a kiss Thank you. Yeah. Coffee. Dad made a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Millie, are you the puzzle master? She loves doing her puzzles. Right now she's playing with pap cups though. Check it out, we got some bighorn sheep on the ride here. About to pull up to Jasper on our way to Kamloops. So my brother's buddy has a lake lot. Check out his backyard view. Isn't that incredible? Now this is gonna be a legendary time. Just getting ready to tee off here. Check out this golf course. It's called Tobiano. Gorgeous. 
Just like that, I'm back from vacation, everybody. Wow. Was it much needed? Not really. Was it much appreciated? Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Thank you, Jose. Where are you going to go? I'm trying to line you up a vacation. I'm dead serious. You got to line her one up, too. It's mostly like driving, though. It's like two days of driving. And then two days of chilling. So not bad. Also, Edmonton Oilers, they won two games while I was there. And boom. They are moving to the um, to the next round of the playoffs against Dallas. So that's going to be pretty incredible. That was awesome. So we played some golf. We went boating. Played some video games. That's about it. Watched some hockey. <laughs> so it's good. Uh, but tomorrow, I'm going to continue working on the tables now that we're back, back to work here. So that'll be good. That, that's my priority tomorrow. I want to finish building the tables. Also, some other exciting news in regards to constructing a massive Lego city. Jose and I have been working on a massive order, and that order has pretty much been placed and it is how many pieces Jose over a hundred thousand a hundred thousand pieces for Lego landscaping a hundred thousand pieces everybody we're talking slopes more slopes more slopes uh, everything involving landscaping tree stuff, tree stuff plates base Every hundred thousand pieces. More on that later. So once we get these Lego cities, the Lego city tables constructed, we can put everything that I currently have on the go, start mapping it all out, and then start constructing some custom stuff. And then once this massive order arrives, construct a ton of custom stuff. It's going to be epic. Mountain range. That's what that hundred thousand piece order is for. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.